Good afternoon on day 105. I'm uh, hanging out in Pinedale today, look at, looking out the window, watching the rain. Um, my plan had been to get back on trail this evening, but it's so hard to leave town when it's raining. Like It's one thing if you're out there and like you're already out there, but when you have a dry place, it's tough to go back out into the rain. So probably gonna zero. On day 106, I definitely decided to stay in town yesterday while it was raining. I'm probably going to still get rained on in the next few days, um, but at least right now it's just cloudy, so it was easier to like mentally be like, okay, going back out. Um, so yeah, I've got a pretty short section actually to Du Bois that's only going to be a couple days away. Um, and then I'll have to make some decisions about Yellowstone and fire reroutes and things like that. But a few days before that becomes <laughs> an immediate issue. Um, a lot of the group I was hiking with previously, I've uh, decided to do a different route. They're, um, they're going to go through the Tetons. And uh, I think that's awesome. Um, for some reason to me, that feels like a separate trip. I've never seen the Tetons and... Uh, I don't know, I just feel like one day I'll probably do a special trip to, to check out that area. So, yeah, I'm going to continue on on the official CDT. Hello, grouse. I think I saw your baby back there. Thank you for not taking off and scaring the crap out of me. Goodbye, beautiful Green River Valley. Womp womp. Hello, Mr. Moose. the sagebrush are back. So am I in the mountains or the desert? Hard to say. Those are some big toes. Big toes. I have never seen a bug that looks quite like this. Kind of like a grasshopper, met a cicada, I don't really know. Hmm. Good morning on day 107. Plan for today is to try and make as many miles as I can so I can put myself in Dubois fairly early tomorrow morning. Kind of like being back in the basin, but with nice mountain silhouettes. Well, it started raining pretty good and I'm just sitting under a tree seeing if it'll stop kind of I'm gonna probably start walking here pretty soon but definitely a little wet I got some extra rain gear looking real cool I uh, apparently that's a thing I do I just don't trust rain gear at all and so I just buy extra bits of it when it seems like the weather is gonna be particularly wet well, it has been raining for several hours. I've been angry trudging through it. I did a spectacularly stupid bushwhack after going the wrong way um, and had pretty much decided I was going to go all the way to the road because if I had any say in it, I was not going to sleep in the rain tonight. But then magic happened and there's a yurt 
um, that I didn't know was going to be here. And I am here with Samwise and three point. Always, point three. Point okay. three. I always mix it up. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think we are going to camp out in here tonight. Just a few miles from the highway, but dry. Good morning on day 108. Man, staying in that yurt last night was so nice. Um, it continued to be rainy and gross outside, but we, are, we were warm and dry inside and didn't have to pack up a wet tent this morning. Oh, it was it was great um, and now got about two and a half miles to the highway we're all hitching to the boys and uh, breakfast is paramount on my mind well I made it to Dubois I'm sorry, it's actually Du Bois. I just want to call it Du Bois, <laughs> but it's Du Bois. Um, without too much trouble, that actually did turn out to be one of the harder hitches that I've had, um, waited for a while. But fortunately, Cheshire Cat, who's a trail angel that I've talked about in other videos, showed up as he does and gave us a ride into town. And so now I'm just doing some chores. I'll uh, stay here tonight and then back on trail tomorrow. One of the things I had to sort out while I was here was Yellowstone permits and kind of in conjunction with that, kind of have a plan for how I want to get around uh, the, the Trail Creek fire because um, it might affect like which way I go through Yellowstone. Fortunately, I believe I've found a little group of hikers who has done a lot of that planning already and was able to just get on their permit with them which means I just get to hike. I don't have to do any planning. And that sounds great to me. <laughs> so plan is to leave town tomorrow. Good morning on day 109. Can't believe it's already day 109. Um, I am back on trail. It can just be considered morning. It's really about midday. Um, and a couple days away from Yellowstone, uh, called while we were in Du Bois and uh, worked out permits for a couple nights in Yellowstone. Uh, we'll get to the old faithful village and then have some more decisions to make about where we go from there. Um, there are fires burning along the Idaho-Montana border, which is where the CDT actually follows. So... The alternate that most people are taking and that I will probably take some version of is just what's being called the Big Sky alternate. Basically, you end up going north, either through Yellowstone or, or just around the west side of it, and, um, and then taking some version of a route to Big Sky. So there's lots of options, which can actually be a bit overwhelming. So postponing decisions often feels like the best decision until you're like closer to that area. So that's where I'm at right now. A couple of days to Yellowstone, which I'm excited to get to hike through Yellowstone. And then, uh, and then more figuring it out as, uh, as we go along. A little bit, a little hazy. now a part of my nightly ritual. Sometimes I'm very efficient. Sometimes this takes me half an hour. Tonight was one of the longer ones. Good morning on day 110. I'm going to start my morning with a little side trip to go look at some waterfalls. Pretty cool, these are called South Fork Falls. And it's a pretty steep canyon right below me here. Pretty neat. Another shot of the canyon uh, from the opposite direction.
Hello, froggy. It's not dead. It's just pretending to be. See? Alive. can't quite see it, but I hope you can hear what, again, I believe is a sandhill crane. Normally, I think it would be possible to do this crossing with dry feet, as there's actually a bridge. But it just poured. And this is what it looks like. Morning on day 111. It's a very wet world this morning and quite the soaker yesterday afternoon and it's still very cloudy today. Certainly looks like it could rain at uh, any moment and uh, I've got about 26 miles today to get to the first campsite campsite in Yellowstone uh, that, that, um, that I'm permitted for and uh, gotten a later start than I typically get that's mostly just because the Sun doesn't come up as early as it once did and then everything is wet and so I just move a little slower pack a little more carefully but uh, I'm gonna Hopefully try and get moving here. Start with a climb. So I left Du Bois with other people and I seem to have lost them all. Um, a couple rushed ahead and then there were two more that I expected I'd kind of stay with but they woke up yesterday not feeling so great. So they were moving a bit slower, and I kind of naturally got ahead of them. Um, I tried to kind of, I don't know, go slow, take more breaks, just expecting them to eventually catch me. And, uh, and they never did. So and I camped um, in the area where I had expected them to go, which was a little bit lower mileage than we might have otherwise done. And yeah, I just didn't see them. So, Hopefully they are feeling better today, and uh, hopefully they'll meet up with me tonight at the campsite in Yellowstone. But I don't know. During Yellowstone National Park. This is the Snake River. And it is not a dry feet kind of day. I'm really glad the sun came out today. It was looking kind of bleak this morning, but... It's actually a beautiful day. I'm having dinner next to the Hart River. I have about three miles left until I get to a uh, campsite for tonight. No sign of Pogo or Jazz Hands. I may not see them for a while and then hear the story later of what exactly happened. So just hope they're okay. Feeling all right. Good morning on day 112. Um, made it to my campsite last night. I never did see Pogo and Jazz Hands, but I did run into my old pal, uh, Old Timer, who uh, I haven't seen since the very beginning of Colorado, so it was really fun to camp with him and catch up a bit. And uh, we might walk together a little bit this morning, so pleasant surprise. Well, 
know we're in Yellowstone when the water turns warm. You can see the steam rising off of this lake and then uh, some nice hikers enjoying the warm water. <laughs> Well, I was gonna push for much bigger miles today, but uh, ultimately this hot spring was just a little too irresistible, so change of plans, worth it. I was gonna do like a 30 mile day today to get to the next campsite on my permit, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I, I'm in Yellowstone, I want the chance to hop in a hot spring if I want to. Um, also, I can go into Grants Village, and, um, I can resupply there. I had, I have enough food to do one more full day to get to Old Faithful Village. But from there, I was going to have to sit and make plans anyway, because I don't know which way I want to go to deal with these fires, which route I want to take. There's so many options. And so I, um, yeah. I'm just gonna keep making this up as I go. I'll get to Grants today and see if I can hopefully call and sort out a permit situation there as soon as I can figure out which way I'm going. So, oh well. Also the soak in those hot springs was incredibly refreshing. Just wonderful. Pretty cool looking. Don't think I'll be jumping in this one. I wanna keep my toes. This is Heart Lake. This was the misty lake I walked by earlier this morning. That is a big pile of bear poop. Just for reference, it's my foot. <laughs> Good morning on day 113. I'm back on trail after spending the afternoon and evening in Grands Village, um, hitched in. It's like six or seven miles from where the, uh, the trail crosses the road to hitch into Grants. And then quickly got absorbed in just food and charging and planning. Went and talked to the backcountry office a little bit. And um, did manage to get a permit for tonight at a campground not too far outside of Old Faithful. But a little bit out of the way. Like, unsurprisingly, everything's full. Like, there's just so many people all the time doing outdoorsy things right now. Which... You know, I'm glad people are out, join, are out enjoying the outdoors. Um, but yeah, I so I just got the campsite for the one night, and then, ooh, so much figuring, and I feel like that's what I spent most of my day doing yesterday. Um, and right now, where I have figured is that I'm just gonna follow the CDT west out of the park to the uh, the Idaho border. Um, and then from there, like, I mean, get to West Yellowstone, have another think, probably, <laughs> um, and then head north from there towards Big Sky and or Butte. Um, and that does cut off a big section of the CDT along the Idaho-Montana border, but a large part of that is closed right now anyway, so most people are finding some way to cut around it. I don't know. Decisions are hard. <laughs> this is Shoshone or Shoshone Lake. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. So I just came across this 1,000 mile marker, but it's facing the opposite direction, so for some Sobos, apparently this is a thousand miles. I haven't really talked much about my own, like, mileage accomplishments on this trail, because I really have no idea. <clears throat> like, I know what mile marker I'm at, like, on the CDT when I'm on the CDT, but there's so many alternates on this trail that I don't know, truly don't know. Um, I could probably sit and make a project of it later and like go through all the routes I took and work out the mileage, but I mean, I know where I'm going. <laughs> I know generally how much further it is to get there, so. Um, <clears throat> mile marker wise, <clears throat> sorry. 
I should hit 2,000 tomorrow, I think. So, um, so yeah, somewhere in that range of having about a thousand left to go. So, I guess that's exciting. <laughs> Still sounds like a lot, but it's a lot less than I have done already. So, woohoo! Been hiking for a couple hours, I think, and this is still Shoshone or Shoshone Lake, now just from the other side of it. So these are my first blueberries on the CDT. They are absolutely delicious. Well, I've heard several comments, or seen several comments, referring to the bog. This is disgusting. Ugh. We hit one of the geyser basins, and uh, we are instructed to stay on trail. I can understand why, so you don't fall in a boiling pot of something. But I can tell you, I really want to walk over to those boiling pots of something and get a closer look at them. For example, this boiling pot. Looks like a nice soup, although it smells a little rotten. So cool. Lots of boiling things. If you're into that, Yellowstone is clearly the place to be. So I'm just a couple miles outside of Old Faithful. Um, I have enjoyed the bubbling pots and geysers and things I've seen today. Um, hopefully I'll get a chance to see Old Faithful erupt. I have seen it before, so it's not the end of the world if I don't, but it's still cool to see water catapult into the sky. So hopefully I'll see that. Um, earlier today hit that, uh, that thousand mile marker for the south bounders. And, you know, I said that I have about a thousand miles left and I've been thinking about it. I probably have less than that. Because with uh, whatever alternate I end up taking, it's going to cut off some. And, um, you know, we've asked some of the southbounders, because we've definitely started seeing a lot of southbounders, you know, like what some of their starts, start dates were. And it was about a month ago for a handful of them. So it's conceivable that, I, you know, I could be finishing this thing and in about a month which is cool and crazy and I've actually been thinking ever since I hit like day 110 I've been kind of remembering what it felt like at the very beginning to say like day one and and knowing then like how many days it would be like that there would be some time in the future where I would be saying triple digit numbers instead of that singular first day and uh and then now i'm here you know the there's the future seems so nebulous like even when you know you're gonna do it you have every intention of hiking all the way and knowing that you're gonna be out here for over 100 days but that's just such a like difficult thing to wrap your mind around that i don't like it is mostly day to day, town to town, one foot in front of the other most of the time. And, uh, and, and knowing that I could be done in about a month, like, the end is in sight. Still got a long way to go. I'm not gonna pretend that I don't, but it's neat to know that, like, my goal is now in a more comprehensible amount of reach. I'm pretty excited about that.